Thank you, Travis. I'd like to now uh, offer uh, the stage to Lisa uh, from AARP, one of our most generous uh, sponsors for this evening and our campaigns for the year. Lisa. Lisa. Good evening, I'm Lisa Simpson, and I work in the Campaigns Department at AARP as the Director of Advocacy, Engagement, and Inclusion. And in my role, I make sure that AARP's uh, campaigns, our advocacy campaigns, are connecting with multicultural and specialized audiences. I am delighted to be here this evening to join you in recognizing and celebrating the important work of API AVO. I have to say a special thank you to Daphne who invited me, uh, who introduced me to, say to API AVO. She told me that I just needed to know one organization and this was the one. And she was definitely correct. Um, I also want to express my sincere gratitude to Christine and Kevin and the entire API AVO team uh, for the extraordinary work that has been done. I was watching the team. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised, and I was watching uh, last night, a little irritated at first, but then it got happy. <laughs> and um, CNN said that it was because of grassroots, on-the-ground organizations why Raphael Warnock is now the senator. And they mentioned by name API AVO. So that was a testament to the work that's being done. It's privileged to partner with APIA Vote on strategies that cultivate and advance civic engagement and vote participation with the Asian American and Pacific Islander community through the lens of diversity, equity, and inclusion. This year, our partnership focused on a national voter uh, mobilization strategy, and a key component of that strategy uh, relied on reaching Asian American and Pacific Islander uh, seniors in their preferred language. We designed and translated into eight languages, a targeted uh, mailer that provided voters with specific details on when, where, and how to vote, um, where they, they live in their states, and more than 1.1 million mailers were delivered to 588 households in four key states. We also had a targeted digital campaign that was created that ran across multiple platforms, including YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And the creative was compelling. It surpassed industry standards by 19% on YouTube, and Facebook and Instagram across our four key states in language, uh, video ads generated nearly doubled, and in certain languages more than doubled, the video completion rates compared to our English video ads. What does that mean? Well, that means that people wanted to hear the message that we were sharing. AARP is working toward a future that's more diverse, equitable, and inclusive for all because through greater diversity, equity, and inclusion of voices, of ideas, and approaches, we will be able to unite to help all people improve their lives. Unity, that togetherness, harmony, and the ability to unite, uh, to stand together, I'm sorry, is key. We had the opportunity tonight to unite this year for the midterm election cycle, and each of us had the power to influence the cycle, to be the deciders for in 2022, and AARP and APIA vote were there to support voters with trusted, reliable information on the voting process, regardless of where they live. We can't do this work alone, which is why we partner with the likes of APIA votes. As an advocacy organization, it's our duty and our mission to serve at AARP, and I'm humbled that I get to feed my passion for creating equitable pathways through advocacy. Continue to be purposeful with your actions, and thank you for being here.